Hey guys, Alex aka Miggy here. Travel with less for a bigger adventure. Short travel guide. When you travel around the world, you may have seen men and women in airports struggling with their oversized backpacks and huge luggages. They have one huge luggage and a backpack and they always have another smaller backpack hanging at the front. Let me show you how to pack with less stuff and pack less items you don't need so you can travel easier and lighter. You will have more room later for gifts and most importantly so you can enjoy your adventure without the heavy burden of your luggage. In order to fulfill this, you must get rid of all the stuff you really don't need. To be blunt, you will only take your carry-on luggage, the small luggage that you take with you on the airplane which is placed above your head and it must be less than 10 kilograms. You can also take a backpack and a light pocket sized bag that fits above your belt. The problem is, when you travel with a huge luggage you will be carrying an extra 25 kilograms with you and this gets tiring fast. If you want to have an adventure, you must carry less. Trust me, it just gets in the way. What you really need to travel with. Clothes. Don't bring your entire wardrobe. Take three t-shirts, two pairs of comfortable pants and one pair of shorts, two sets of underwear and two pairs of socks. This is enough for a warm country. If you're traveling to a cold climate, then you need a warm jacket and a jumper. You can wash your clothes in the following ways. Either find a laundromat nearby that charges a fee, or you can simply wash your own clothes with the clothes soap in the bathroom. That is how they do it in the third world countries, and it actually works very well. Also, sometimes you can always find a washing machine at your new place. You can wear the same pair of jeans or shorts for at least one to two weeks. T-shirts and shirts start to stink of body odor after two days. Socks should be worn for no more than two days. Underwear can last for three to four days before they start to smell, but I recommend changing every two days. A good habit is to wash your clothes every time you shower, which is once a day. Bathroom items. Toothbrush, toothpaste and a deodorant. I use a Thai herbal toothpaste without fluoride which is the size of a small coin. I use sodium bicarbonate as a very effective natural deodorant. To use bicarb soda as a deodorant, after the shower, while your armpits are wet, take a few pinches of bicarb soda, place in the palm of your hand, add a few drops of water to turn it into paste. Then rub this paste gently under your armpits. You will not stink for 24 hours guaranteed. Packing light as above will make sure that your carry-on luggage gets through and will not be discarded by the airport security. A small bottle of baby powder will keep your feet and privates from smelling also. Hair products. As a man, I don't use a shampoo, period. I recommend this to others also. Shampoo will only dry out your hair and you will need to keep washing it a few times a week to keep it in shape. You will also save an extra weight by leaving shampoo out of your luggage. Shaving cream and razors. I use a bar soap instead of shaving cream. They may not allow you to take a razor with you on an airplane, so just buy a new one at the new destination. And for those who don't know, most commercial shaving creams are full of chemicals that are harmful to your body. So find a natural bar soap and just use that. It's much cheaper and it's also more effective. And it's actually good for you. <laughs> Instead of toilet paper, take some baby wipes. Use hypoallergenic type. They're great for wiping dirty hands and wiping yourself in a toilet if there's no toilet paper. Whenever I traveled to Asia, many places did not have any toilet paper. In your toiletries bag, put tweezers, band-aids, activated charcoal, q-tips and other medical items or medicines you may need. Bring your doctor's script with you. Electronics. Take your laptop, laptop charger, cell phone and phone charger. Instead of taking books, get an e-book reader on your phone or on your laptop. Cell phone. When you land in a new country, buy a local SIM card with internet preloaded. Your new SIM card with internet data will give you access to Google Maps, which is critical for any traveler overseas. You will also be able to use your email, Skype, WhatsApp, your banking apps and everything else you have come to rely on back home. This is probably my most important item while traveling. Without my phone and my laptop, I'm pretty much screwed. Photo, video camera for photos and video recording. Photo or video camera for photos and video recording. Take that with you, but also you can use your phone. Money and cards. Take enough cash with you so it can last for at least a week. You do not want to carry large sums of money with you. 
You can always use your bank card from back home to withdraw more money from any local ATM. Your money will be automatically converted to a local currency. I normally take about a thousand dollars with me when I'm traveling overseas. You can also use your prepaid credit card to purchase items and pay for food at restaurants. Take your passport and driver's license also. So to recap, clothes and toiletries, three pairs of shorts, three pairs of shirts, two pairs of pants or shorts, two pairs underwear, two pairs socks, sodium bicarbonate as deodorant, toothbrush, baby wipes, baby powder, clothing soap or just to have your clothing washed at your destination, electronics, laptop, cellular phone, camera, money, $1,000 in cash, ATM cards, debit or credit cards, passport or driver's license. This is all you really need. Let's have a look at what else you can take with you. Extra items, sunglasses, this is important in the tropics, condoms, Trojans extra large are the best fitting condoms, a padlock, for extra security you never know when you really need it, do not take with you, knives, guns, lighters, liquids, your wife or your girlfriend, travel tips, always use taxi apps such as Uber, Yandex Taxi and others when traveling around the world, the drivers won't be able to rip you off. If you do need a taxi and can't book one, always negotiate for a better price. Most will try and overcharge you by 50%, so always refuse when they name their initial price. Try and meet them halfway. Be polite, but be firm. Be especially careful with airport drivers who will try and rip you off to the core. These people will triple charge you, especially if it's your first time in this country. Always get a taxi app. This is why it's a must to get a new SIM card with internet at your new destination. It will save you hundreds if not thousands of dollars. You can always get a new SIM card when you land at the new airport. Do not get drunk with lots of money in your wallet. If you do, chances are you may spend it all or lose it. The locals know how to spot an easy and drunk target. When flying, book your tickets on Tuesdays and Thursdays. These are the cheapest days. Skyscanner.com and CheapoAir.com is the best way to find cheapest tickets. The above information should help you out as a young traveler. Where in the world should you go? Well, I personally have enjoyed the following countries. Thailand, Bangkok, Phuket, Chiang Mai and Koh Samui. Russia, Moscow in summer was amazing. Belarus, Minsk has some of the most beautiful women I have ever seen. Ukraine, Kyiv is just an awesome and fun city. Odessa is also amazing. Indonesia, Bali is arguably one of the best tropical places to visit. Malaysia, Langawi is a small tropical island paradise. Go explore a new country today. Everything will be waiting for you back home, that is if you do decide to come back. Drop the base, Kitty. And if you want to protect your online privacy and help my channel out at the same time, visit drivenanddesire.com forward slash NordVPN. If you sign up through that link, I will earn a small commission to keep this channel as well as my other projects like drivenanddesire.com going. Take us out, kitty. I got money in the bag. Shot it with your thing. <laughs> <laughs>